This is going to be my battery storage area. So it's going to be right on the kind of center line of the boat. And the two kind of leisure batteries are going to be down here. Uh, that I think is where that's going to live. It just about squeezes in that gap. But before I do anything else down here, I need to well, sweep out in here, hoover up. Uh, and then I need to put like a base down for the batteries to go on. Okay, this is what I've come up with. Uh, so that goes against the stern wall. There'll be one battery there and another battery there. And I've kind of angled these in so I can get the batteries in quite easily. And you'll see there are two hooks, which just come up there. And there'll be a feeder ratchet strap underneath and across the batteries and secure them in place. Now I've started work on the electrics cupboard, it's time for me to continue that. And it starts with the batteries. These are the batteries I've gone for. These are lithium iron phosphate batteries, these are 12 volt ones from a company called Power Queen. I know I'd never heard of them either. Um, and let's open it up and see what it is. Comes nicely presented. Right, so I said I've got two of these and I'm going to wire them up in series, which means I'm going to be doubling the voltage and keeping the amp hours the same. So these are 200 amp hours, so I'm going to have 200 amp hours at 24 volts. And I'll explain to you why I'm doing it like that a bit later on, but what does this come with then? A product manual. Product overview, it's all quite nicely laid out. So it gives also the main parameters. Obviously with lithium iron phosphate batteries, um, these are a damn sight safer than they were. So the old lithium iron batteries, they had loads of kind of issues with, but these are a lot safer. This also has a 200 amp hour, uh, sorry, 200 amp uh, BMS, but I'm gonna have loads more battery protection in the electrics cupboard as well. But so yeah, it talks about charging methods. Obviously that's a bit of a tricky thing when it comes to lithiums. Uh, what kind of solar panels work best and stuff, which is all cool. Alternator generator charging. Uh, how to wire in series and parallel. This is really nicely laid out. This is decent. This is a Chinese company and quite often Chinese companies, the information it comes with is dreadful. This is really nicely laid out though and kind of reads well. Yeah, this is very good. Oh, excellent, it tells you the inverter settings as well. Cool, well, that's good. That's the same, but in German. And then operation guide for beginners, that's what I need. Um, so obviously it's quite a lot to do before I can wire them up and start using them. Uh, it also comes with the battery terminal connectors as well. And the first main job is to move them off the boat and get them charged. As I wasn't sure how long this charge would take i brought them over to my girlfriend's house plugged them into the mains using the uh, victron lithium charger and this is bluetooth enabled so you can keep uh, keep tabs on the charging status uh, it's got the lights on the actual charger as well so you can see where it's at but also the app shows you all the information you need so i'm going to keep these here for a day or two get them both charged up and then i can get them back to the boat now they've both been charged i can bring them back to the boat and start balancing. Now I've got both batteries fully charged and back on the boat, I can now go about balancing them, which basically balances all the cells. So these batteries are made up of four cells, four sets of cells. Um, and even though the, ba the batteries are fully charged, we just wanna make sure for the efficiency of the battery um, that all of these cells are balanced evenly. So they all contain the same amount of voltage. I'm just putting the battery terminals back on. And just tighten that down. And then the same on this one here. So 
So they're at their resting voltage of 13.4. Now I can parallel them up. Okay, there we go. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Right, now I've fully charged these with a lithium iron friendly battery charger, which was a mains one. So, um, I've now, as you can see, balancing them. So this will take 12 to 24 hours, um, and then I can start to put the batteries in place and start to build the system from them. Um, I'm not gonna go into a vast amount of detail about batteries. Suffice to say, there are three main types. You've got lead acid, AGM, and lithium ion batteries. This is lithium ion phosphate, so live PO4 batteries, which is the kind of the newest technology. Um, the main difference between these and lead acid batteries is the fact you can use all the capacity of these, whereas on lead acid batteries you've got a depth of discharge at 50%. So in terms of utilising space or whatever, on think on slope trial I've got four lead acid batteries as the battery bank, whereas on here obviously I can just get away with two. So it takes up less space. Um, I think this is lighter than, um, than the lead acid batteries. But yeah, the main thing is the depth of discharge. Um, you'll see here that I've got a 200 amp hour battery, obviously at 12.8 volts, and this is currently wired in parallel um, for the balancing, but if you were to wire this in parallel on the boat, basically you'd be doubling up on the amps, because uh, you've got two batteries, so you'd be getting 400 amp hours at 12 volts, which is pretty sufficient for what I'd need, that's 4,800 watt hours, yeah, that's, that's decent, I don't think I'm going to be using anything, anything like that, um, so I think capacity wise this is all pretty good. Um, but I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm gonna be running this on a 24 volt system. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is wiring these in series, uh, which is negative of one battery to the positive of the other, and then the main neg and pos feeds coming out, which will keep the amp hours the same. So I'll have 200 amp hours across the two batteries, but it will be doubling up on the voltage. Uh, so 24 volts, uh, so 25.6 volts it'll be. Um, and that provides quite a bit of kind of flexibility in the system so the main difference then that will provide is in terms of the charging through solar i can get away with because i've got 4800 watt hours to basically fill on a daily basis which means i need quite a lot of panels up on the roof and if i was to be doing that on a 12 volt basis then i'd need probably two or even three solar chargers uh mppt chargers to manage all that power and bring it in safely Running on a, on a 24 volt system means I can get away with a much, much smaller MPPT charger. So it makes the whole thing much more efficient. You're still getting the same amount of solar, the same amount of battery storage, but it just makes it much, much more efficient. Um, one slight downside is getting appliances. So 12 volt stuff is easier to get than 24 volt stuff, certainly on lighting. Um, but pumps and everything, you can get 12 and 24 of anything now. Um, but all my lighting, which is already installed, is already 12 volts. So I've got a converter in the system which will step down from, tw from 24 to 12 volts so all my lights work. But that's a bit of a time coming. Uh, in the meantime, I just want to get these balanced, get them put in the battery bank, um, get them strapped down, and then I can start building the system from there. And I'll explain it all to you. I've gone for the full Victron setup, which has been painful on the wallet, but it is the best way to go. So that's gonna be the way I'm going and I will explain it all to you as I build it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care, bye-bye.